It was nearly 40 years ago Elisa Nelson was abducted and murdered. Her friends have always said they wanted to do something to remember her, and right now there's a push to get her old school named after her. News Channel 8's Jamel and A joins us now live from Palm Harbor, where the school that was closed after Nelson's murder is set to reopen. Jamel. Well, good afternoon. Nelson's friend said that they want to fulfill a promise made to their friend after her death rocked this community. Jeff Nelson and his family have worked tirelessly to keep his sister's legacy alive. There's been a lot of lives all across the state that were affected directly and indirectly by Elisa. Elisa was 10 years old when she was abducted and killed by Larry Mann. It was 1980. She was riding her bike to the old Palm Harbor Middle School on 15th Street when he kidnapped her. Mann was convicted and put to death in 2013. Back when this first happened, we all felt we were alone on the island because it's kind of a shameful thing to be the one that everybody looks at, and, and, we, and we thought we were alone. The Nelson family created the nonprofit, Elisa's Greatest Wishes, in her name, which supports and benefits thousands around Tampa Bay. Nearly 40 years after her death, Elisa's friends want to fulfill one more wish, getting her old school named after her. So they put it out on Facebook, and it's got a lot of people signing up. The district plans to reopen the school that closed after her death. They're asking for public input in the renaming process. And it's completely appropriate. She is a, she's completely a leader in the community amongst her friends. Her friends are still following her 40 years later. I mean, that says something. And the district is asking people to submit their name ideas in a letter, 100 words or less, by noon on February 25th. In Palm Harbor, Jamel and A, News Channel 8.